As of March 2011, 4.6% of ACS members were unemployed, the highest level recorded since ACS began tracking unemployment in 1972. We know that our numbers for unemployment are the worst that we've seen in a very long time. In fact, they're the worst that we have on record. We know that it's worse for new graduates. We know that it's worse for postdocs. We thought it would be interesting to talk to BS, MS, and PhD students and postdocs here at the ACS National Meeting in San Diego to find out if their experiences mesh with this data. Come along and see what we find out. There was a career fair at my school, um, which is primarily an engineering and computer science school. Um, but when I went there, there was only one chemistry firm that was even present um, out of maybe a hundred other companies. So it seems like the job opportunities for an undergraduate are pretty slim. I'm defending this coming June, so I'm definitely on the market looking for a job right now. I've probably applied for 30 to 40 positions and heard back from a couple. So it's definitely a tough job market out there. And these are jobs that I'm absolutely qualified for according to their job description. Once I found out how the job situation was, especially in big pharma, which is what I want to go into, I, uh, I decided to continue to invest in my education and go to graduate school. And hopefully in the five or six years that I'm there, you know, the job market will have more opportunities for me, you know, with a PhD. After graduation, I plan on going to medical school. 88% of most med school students get a residency and get a job, so that's one reason I'm going to be try to be a doctor as opposed to a researcher because I know the job market for them is a little bit more unstable. Next year I'm probably going to graduate school but I still have taken one uh, job interview at a pharma pharmaceutical company so I'll see how that goes. I'm very concerned about the job market. I'm very concerned about the unemployment. Um, I fully intend to complete my postdoc with Mark so that means probably another year at least but um, I'm very aware that finding a job is going to take a lot of time, a lot of networking, a lot of talking and interviewing uh, and exploring, which is why I'm starting a year in advance. And the main question I have right now is what am I going to do, what are the job opportunities that I have once I graduate from a PhD? Because it's definitely a huge commitment, it's six, hours, uh, six years of your life and I, ha I need to know what, uh, if there are opportunities for me out there that um, they are available once I do get my PhD. It's very hard not to be concerned when you read all the news of the economic outlook. Um, I do think the jobs are out there, but they are definitely harder to find, and there's definitely a lot more competition for them. So I think that said, you know, you really have to go deeper into your own record and see how you can really uniquely position yourself for each individual company, which, you know, the more positions you apply to, customizing your skill set for each company does get a little tiring. We're trying to focus on the situation for new graduates and for postdocs so that we can better understand it. We're worried but we're doing things to find out what the situation is so that we can plan for the future.